Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. You know, sometimes I feel like I should just uh, work at Amazon with uh, so many boxes that I get from them. So, let's see what we have in here. Obviously, by the time this is on the internet and on YouTube, you would know what it is because it's in the title. But at this point, let's see what we got. Ooh, more boxes. Okay. First thing we got, it's a Dragon Pad Pop Filter. Awesome. Okay, so um, this is going to help your uh, voice recordings uh, using the mic that uh, my brother got me. So this will reduce a lot of, uh, I would say, uh, noises that you don't want, like the popping sounds and breathing and so forth. And this is a highly regarded pop filter as well. So that's first. Let's see what else we got. Paper. And... All right, an accompanying Samson product it is. The professional microphone stand. This is the Samson MK10. So I got this so that I could put my microphone on it. And obviously, I got the pop filter so that I could put that over my microphone. And so we're going to go ahead and see how this works and whether or not this is something you should get as well. And as always, um, if you did uh, want to get these products and you want to support my channel, uh, I will have affiliate links in the description area below and you can check those out if you want to get it. So let's go ahead and get this set up and try it out. Okay, let's go ahead and box this. So basically, all of this is going to be used with this. Uh, this Samson uh, mic that my brother got me. And so the whole idea is I'm going to take this off and still use the shock mount because that's important. And so this is actually going to go on the mic stand. And then the pop filter is going to go over the mic itself. So let's go ahead and get this open. There shouldn't be much to it. And um, I got the same brand as the mic. I mean, you don't have to, but um, the, you could also get a newer one too. Uh -oh, that's the brand, newer, by the way. Uh, but I decided to go with this. I'm not really uh, I'm not really one of those people who have to have everything with the same brand or matching. I just use whatever is best for me. So, all right, wow, that that's pretty heavy. Okay, which which I like. You know, uh, one of the things that is really uh, important to me. You know, um, I am a really frugal guy, but. Um, I will spend a little bit more for higher quality. And so just the feel of it alone, I already like the feel. It's got a substantial feel and I really like that. It. it reminds me a lot of the Manfrotto product, which is also high quality. And so let's go ahead and open up this pop filter as well. So, you know, there's nothing else in either of these boxes. So it's just the product. Check that out. There is the pop filter. And uh, from the reviews that I've seen, uh, Dragon is a really good pop filter you should buy. So check that out. Nice. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up. And I'm not going to put the mic on yet because I'm going to do the setup first. Then I'm going to do some audio tests. And then I'm going to compare it to how this works with this whole setup. So let's go ahead and set this up really quick. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure how this works yet. But bottom line... And this actually has two parts right here, um, like so you can extend it. So the first part is you just unlock this mechanism right here, and then that it actually extend it just like a tripod, and then these feet just pop out like this. Okay, and then you would lock it again, and then on this second part right here, right here, if you actually uh, turn this to the right, you could actually extend this portion up further, like so, and then. This part right here, you could loosen it and it could like change the different uh, angle. And right here, this will actually allow this to slide uh, back and forth. So if you like loosen it, now it slides back and forth. So um, I'm not sure how this is going to work with all this yet because I'm going to go ahead and test out the audio first before uh, I try this out with the whole mount and the pop filter. And then here, um, whenever you extend to the height that you want, you just... Turn it this way and it will go ahead and tighten that. So let's go ahead and uh, try out the setup without this uh, whole mic stand and pop filter. And then I'm going to do one where I actually do try this out with the mic stand and the pop filter. And then we can get the difference between the two. 
Okay, as you could uh, probably see, uh, the way I have it set up right now, you are actually watching me through my computer, but I also am shooting this on my smartphone as well. So as you could probably see right here that my actual mic is set up like this normally, okay? And so what I'm doing now is, first I'm gonna test it out recording right now. I'm actually recording how I would normally uh, with my condenser mic and just the standard uh, little mount that came with it and also I bought a shock mount as well and so this is how it sounds normally when I'm recording so now I have this pop filter on here so let's see if there's any difference in the sound quality and so I'm gonna go ahead and put the pop filter in front of it so now it has the pop filter so the whole point of the pop filter is supposed to help uh, like make the sound better in terms of the popping sounds and breathing and so forth and uh, it's supposed to make it a lot easier for you to you know go ahead and record your audio your podcast without having to do any type of post processing to get rid of those things if audio quality is really important to you so let's go ahead and listen to that to see if there is a difference okay so after listening to it with the pop filter on honestly I really couldn't tell much difference but I know that it will improve the sound so maybe as I use it more and more I'll see whether or not it makes a real big difference but either way I really feel that if there's anything that you could purchase that actually improves your sound quality then it's worth it so now the next step I'm gonna do I'm actually gonna put this condenser mic and the pop filter on my actual uh, mic uh, stand right here the boom stand so then I won't have it on my table anymore so let's go ahead and do that next Okay, so next up, what I'm gonna do is actually take my condenser mic along with my shock mount and then take this and then put it right here onto the actual uh, mic stand. But one thing I wanted to show you that I didn't show you earlier on the stand itself, uh, it also comes with a little clip right here. This will actually, you could actually use this for a standard microphone, the handheld microphones. And also this right here, you could actually put wires through here as well to keep it clean. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and I'll put this uh, Samson condenser mic right here and it should be simple all I have to do is just unscrew from here and then screw it right here so let's go ahead and do that okay so I got my mic on here along with the uh, pop filter and everything set up correctly uh, hopefully and I also got the wire down here as well with this little clip now if you're wondering why um, I decided to get a stand uh, versus one that actually uh, an arm that actually mounts on your actual table it's for a few reasons uh, first and foremost uh, this is heavy okay so um, if you get an arm stand you know you're gonna have to get one that is actually high quality and it's very solid okay and with this the mic stand you could actually just type it you know you could do a lot more adjustments with this you know and also at the same time the way that these are built they are meant to stand you know where it's at hence mic stand you know and another thing that I like about it is with a mic stand I could easily move this around whereas if I got an arm I don't have a lot of flexibility in doing that and also with the mic stand I can adjust it uh, not only up and down but I could swivel it left and right and also I could extend it forward and backwards so it gives me a lot more flexibility so let's go ahead and try it out now with this setup and then see how it sounds on the computer okay so I've got everything set up now and hopefully this sounds better than what I had before uh, but since now the mic is a lot closer to me I've got the pop filter on and it's no longer on my desk so I should get less vibrations and so forth on here as well so hopefully um, this will sound better I really think it will and it also give me a lot of flexibility uh, when it comes to where I want to record my audio and so I could even use this for different locations you know in terms of where I'm recording within the room itself so if you did enjoy these videos and you got a lot of value out of this don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and if you did want to get these products, don't forget that I do have affiliate links in my description below. So if you wanted to support my channel, you could do it there. And you could also support my channel through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. And all that information is also in the description area. So thanks for watching. We'll see you on another episode. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content and additional geek stuff head over to geekoutdoors.com and i'll see you outdoors on the very next episode